When preparing an AutoCAD DXF or DWG drawing to properly import into the Perforex software, uh, we can use this draw drawing as an example. First, I select everything on the drawing and I make sure that everything is by layer, color by layer. If it is anything, if it has any color to it, say for instance, a magenta, uh, blue, yellow, red, then uh, it can cause confusion on the import. So I make sure everything is by layer. Another thing I do is I make sure that everything is in layer zero. If it's not in layer zero, it may not be uh, imported into the Perforex software. Okay, let's talk about element and color. Uh, I like to import everything into Perforex using element and color. The elements in this case are already drawn. We can already see the elements on the drawing. All right. Um, and then the color would identify either the machining process or it would identify the exterior of the external exterior border of the uh, panel or machine surface. Um, when it comes to the exterior border of the machine surface or the panel, that would be identified by color number one or red. So let's go ahead and change that to red. All right. Now Perforex will identify that as the um, machine surface or panel. Uh, drills are identified by color number three or green. So I can select these three 4.2 millimeter drilled holes. I can select those and change the color to green. Then we have four tapped holes here, four 5.5 millimeter tapped holes. I will select them all and change those to cyan or color number four. Okay, now our milling operations, our contours, are going to be identified by magenta or color number six. So I'll change those circles to magenta. Now I've left this one last contour because I want to show something also that can be done. The, the contour Contours need to be one continuous polyline. So this needs to be one continuous rectangular polyline. In which case now it is a, it's four individual lines. That would not import correctly. So what I will do is I will select magenta as our color and I'll select the rectangle tool, rectangular polyline tool. Then I'll select one corner, drag down to the next corner, and we have a complete, uh, complete machine surface that now can be imported into Perforex. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this. We're going to save as a DXF, I'm sorry, an AutoCAD 2000 LT2000 DXF file. And the reason why we do this is because newer versions may not be recognized as well as some of the older versions. So go with AutoCAD 2000 and save it as a DXF file. And then to import into your, into your uh, Perforex software, you need to close this file out completely. And once you have closed this, you can then import into Perforex.